Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's India. Um, I had to do a quick voiceover due to the fact that my whole beginning intro and the beginning video did not record. Uh, I'm so upset. But anyway, let me do this quick. Right here is what we um what's called chicken and broccoli rolls. This is how they look frozen. And I'm going to insert a picture of how they look when they're done. Delicious. Mm. And then after that, I'm going to just go ahead and show you how I put together the chicken and broccoli roll burrito wrap together. Stay tuned. So real quick, I want to show you what I'm going to incorporate in the broccoli chicken roll. I'm going to go ahead and add some gold, what is it, verdant avocado cup. These cups, when I tell you amazing, they're already mashed. Please forgive my nails for not being done. Okay. So, this is how they look. And when I tell you they are delicious and I'm so happy I found them. Yep. Next thing, um, the burrito I'm going to go ahead and use. I'm undecided if I'm going to use the Mission Carb Balance Flour. 4 grams of um, net carbs, high fiber, and 70 calories per wrap. Super soft. Okay. I got these in, um, hmm, in Walmart. Yep, in Walmart. Now, the next one is, I have the, also the Mission Wrap Garden Spinach Herb. Um, burrito wrap is way bigger than the other one. Okay. And the carbs in this one is, I mean, the calories in this one is also way more than the other um, one, which is 220. So I'm undecided which one I'm going to be doing for tonight. Put it inside my burrito wrap. It's the um, Kraft Natural Cheese Triple Cheddar. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that inside. And last but not least, I don't think I was going to put anything else besides the salad, mixed salad. So stay tuned. The next step will be me um, putting it together. Okay, the last thing I forgot to show you, I'm going to also incorporate some eggs into the burrito wrap. Okay, in front of me I have a flat pan. What I'm about to do is warm up the burrito wraps. The burrito wraps I decided to go with are, yeah, I decided to go with these due to the fact that I'm gonna incorporate inside the burrito a lot of stuff. And this is way bigger for it to, you know, like grip and hold everything together. Now what I'm gonna go ahead, what I did was wash the pan. Right now it's drying and I see that it dried up all the way. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is place the the wrap onto the pan. I'm gonna wait for it to get a little, you know, warm on one side and then I'm gonna flip it, put it to the side and keep doing that until I'm done with as many burrito wraps I'm about to do. Which I think I'm gonna only do four. Okay, so stay tuned. And yes, once again, I did wash my hands so Mind your business elsewhere. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. It seems to be warm. And you can tell the little bit of color it has that that side is nicely cooked. Okay, that's going to take a couple of little seconds more. And then it should be done. So I went ahead and flipped it around. As you see, the little dark spots are letting me know that this burrito wrap is fully done so I'm gonna take it off Whew, this is how it's looking really nice I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do the last three off camera and I'll be right back to show you the next step of what I'm about to do this is the last tortilla wrap I got it I'm warming up it's fully done I'm gonna go ahead and place it oh it's hot I'm going to go ahead and spray some butter flavored spray onto the pan. As I said before, I am doing some eggs. 
I decided to do some cheesy eggs. I'm gonna only use two eggs. Even though I'm making four wraps, I'm gonna do only two eggs. I don't want the egg to overpower the wrap. I am gonna go ahead and season the eggs a little bit with some salt. This type of salt. Let me grab a spatula. When you do this type of um, wrap that I'm doing, the, I mean, it's only common sense that the eggs should be last. They get cooked last. Gonna let that cook. Okay, I almost forgot to show you me adding the cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna add the cheese now. Very little I'm gonna add of the triple cheddar. Because, like I said before, I did taste it and it kind of tasted a little tarty hearty for the party. Pretty strong. I'm not used to this type of... I actually always eat 2% on um, milk. So, to eat the three cheddar type of cheese, it hit the spot. Let's just say it hit that little sour spot behind my mouth. So, we just mix it up. Let's lower this a bit. Now the eggs are done, everything is done. All I want is that the um, cheese melts. I already shut off the stove. Okay. If you want a lot of eggs, you can easily have added two more eggs. Two eggs per person. I basically did one egg per person here. I'm going to add just a little more cheese. That's it. I'm going to leave that like that and shut off the burner. Now I will go to the section. I'm going to put my burrito on. Okay, now I'm using a plastic plate. Yes. Um, I'm not going to show all the burritos, how I'm, um, the, the wraps, how I'm going to do them because they're all going to be the same. So I'm just going to show you how I do one. Our plate, handy dandy plate there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a one of the burrito wraps. I kind of like this. It's kind of looking like if I could open this up and stuff it in the inside. Hmm. Maybe next time. But as for now, we're gonna put that on the plate. The next step I'm gonna do is grab the um where is it? Avocado cup. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I need a spoon first. Let me wash the spoon. Okay, so this is the avocado cup I'm talking about. Please, please, please excuse my nails. I'm going to open it up. It's nice and cold. A oh, little struggle. Not that much. This is how it looks inside. It is look how nice and soft. When I tell you I am in love with these avocado cups, they are amazing. Check it out. Now for those, I know there are people that like to season their avocados with salt. This avocado cup has no type of seasoning in it. So if you would like to season it your way, season it your way. But right now I'm going to show you the next step, which is pouring, since I'm doing two two burritos per person I'm gonna just oops let me put this down use half of the avocado cup on one and the other half I'm gonna use on the other look how beautiful no lumps spreads beautifully look at that look at that beautiful I am in love with these I am so in love with these this that's left this remaining um, avocado it's going to be for the next burrito. The second step I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and grab the chicken um, broccoli roll. Stay tuned. Now that I took out the chicken broccoli rolls out of the oven, look how delicious they look. They smell even amazing. 
So what I'm basically basically so what I'm basically gonna do is grab one and just chop it up in a couple of pieces and I'm gonna apply it to the wrap. Okay, I had to do a quick little voiceover. Now in this picture, what you see is the chicken broccoli roll sliced up with some cheese eggs on top of it. What I did next was add the mixed salad on top of it. And for last, I did add some French dressing on top of it. There you go. I rolled it up and there you have a thick, juicy burrito wrap combo. Thank you.